Hello, welcome to part two of my uh, search for sign of Bigfoot in Fish Creek part. I've uh, come back to the structure that was uh, I've had some feedback on on my channel about uh, if it is or not made by Bigfoot. Uh, when I was here last I cleaned up all the garbage, the tin cans, beer cans, whatnot. There was some trash left here and um, people come in here and have a few drinks apparently. So um, it's two weeks later and I'm back again and uh, I noticed that there's more trash here. Uh, not as much, just a couple of beer bottles. Nothing big, it's not a huge mess. But so people are using this, you know, unless um, all of a sudden Bigfoot's gotten a taste for Corona. I don't know, but uh, I don't think so. So, but I'm going to explore a little further. I kind of got stopped last time by uh, Beaver Dam and blocked my path. I'm in the same area. I'm not very far from the Beaver Dam, but I'm going to head up the hill. I got here late last time, but I'm going to head up the hill and I'm going to travel on the path less traveled in the park, avoiding the paved path and the bicycle paths, but uh, there's lots and lots of trails in here. I just got some really good footage of a couple of deer not far from this place as well. So there is wildlife here. There's coyotes and I think there could be a wolf or two, but it's even though it's in the middle of basically the city, there's it's like a little island and, and a pathway actually. Wildlife could use this as a causeway to get right through the city and out and never be detected. So the park is closed at night. The gates are closed so you can't drive down here, but there's nothing stopping you from walking around here at night. Maybe I'll do a night walk down here. Um, not much to really see in the dark, but uh, I know the path's pretty good. Anyways, part two, searching for sign of uh, Bigfoot or not, um, showing what people have made, done, knock trees over, whatever. Uh, maybe I can find another one of these structures somewhere. I hope so. I'll uh, I'll start looking. So we'll uh, we'll go from there. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. I'm on the other side of the Beaver Dam now. Last time I was down here, I was over. I'm just going to pan into it right now. I was over looking at this patch that they had done on the on the uh, dam, there's a, I was over there filming that. You can see the mud looks relatively fresh still compared to the rest of the stuff. But this green, the algae that's grown on this pond is actually quite pretty. And I'm gonna be tracking down, I'm on the south side of the park and I'm heading west so there's a lot of nothing, a lot of, uh, on the west side of this park, there's wilderness for, for many kilometers. So there's no reason why big game animals couldn't use this area as a kind of a causeway. I haven't seen anything like elk or anything in here, but I have seen deer, lots of deer and stuff. So, and I'm uh, continuing my search here. I just, stop uh, take a picture of uh what i find interesting anyways i like being outside and and finding these wild things like this okay so i'm going to continue on it's no real sign of this this is no real sign of bigfoot or not or or people this is just nature nature being nature the beavers are uh, maintaining this dam and flooding this little valley and uh just doing what they do and Park Service lets them, so that's good. Kids can see and people that may not have had the opportunity to learn about beavers in the wild, they can come here and observe. And we might even get to see a beaver if we're careful. Anyways, I'll uh, pick this up in a minute.
even though we're sandwiched between two huge subdivisions in this park, sitting down here, just having a bite to eat, you would never guess that this is in the city. Now, you can probably hear those guys behind me there on bikes or whatever they're on, but it's just so peaceful down here. So I come into this area and I smell a very, well the best smell I can describe it as this campsite, but it's like canvas, the old canvas tents. There are no tents here, I don't quite understand, kind of like on the edge of a cliff, but there is a bit of a fire pit here. That's not really the wood smoke I'm smelling. It's a, it's a camp smell. That's the best way I can describe it. Interesting. <laughs> 